Whoa! Don't look at me right now. What up, Snaz fam? Hope you're all doing well. Hope you're all crushing life. It's been a minute because I'm in the middle of a modification for the Raptor. You see, I got stuck, had to reverse everything, so it's drivable now because I couldn't drive it for a week. So, mod video coming soon, just not yet. Right now, I have to move a couch. Now, normally, I would not include a couch move in a vlog, but this couch looks, um, it looks different. And in the back of a purple Raptor, it might, it might be comical going down the road. Well, here it is. I gotta say, I'm probably looking pretty ridiculous right now, driving a purple Raptor with a pink couch. But here's the deal. Someone said, hey, do you want a couch that's pink? And I said, sure, that might look good in the warehouse. Okay, I think that's enough couch nonsense for today. In fact, that's probably enough couch nonsense forever. Let's get into the meat of today's video. We have a special guest. Our guest will be here in a minute, but I assume you've been able to guess from the title of the video and the thumbnail, he's a large man. Yes, he is 6'8". Also, do not judge the filthiness of the kitchen right now. My wife is out of town, so of course, uh, the degradation's been massive, but I will clean it before she gets home. But not yet. Because me and the big guy, we're going to take James's Ferrari out. That's right, baby. All right, here he is. Yes, that's right. Uh, I loaned the big guy my Shelby for the weekend. And uh, it looks like he came back in one piece, which is great. I was worried, but I'm pleased. Nice job. Excellent. We made it. So this is my uncle. He is, like, much taller than me. 6'8". Uh, six, 6'8". Eight. Six, eight. Legit. Verified. He did not want the pink couch, so I took it. But he is going to help me unload the pink couch in the warehouse, and then we're going to take so the Ferrari I have for to a earn spin. my Ferrari ride. Yes. Right? You guys remember when I forgot to get the Capri Suns? Well, we are set now. Money, big time. Also, a pink couch next to the white limo. That just splashes classy all over. But we're really here for this and this guy. So you guys know I'm 6'6", 275. This guy's 6'8", 350. Okay. All of it. Not, not really. Anyways, he's taller than me, and we're going to go see if the Ferrari 458 is the best supercar for big guys. Okay, one reason the 458, in my opinion, is one of the best cars, supercars for a big man is it's easy to get in and out of. Show them how graceful you can be. All right. Let's see, don't make it weird. Don't break it either. Oh, okay. That, oh, I don't know what to say, but that was amazing. Yeah. This is when life gets good. Yes. Also, I'm really pleased I remembered how to do that. Now you can right. enter the vehicle in style, making it look good. Yes, because big guys were known to be graceful. So we got legit 6'8", and tree trunks his legs, and he's relatively very comfortable. comfortable. I can promise you, if you were in the Lamborghini Aventador, you would be a mess right now, a disaster, torn up, but you're comfortable. Comfortable. Sir? Your head level is, yeah, I think we're okay. So just a little FYI, this car is 562 horsepower, my Shelby's 526, and it's noticeable. It's noticeable. Because this is much lighter. In fact, in 2014, you didn't know this, per liter, this was the most powerful naturally aspirated vehicle. Really? And it's loud. hip bones are too big so <laughs> he's a large guy what can I say the seats here for me are more comfortable than James's other cars but even for this guy the Ferrari is still it's a tad pinchy on the hip bones so he's not supercar shopping to be clear but if you were eh, maybe yeah maybe you can because it's headroom uh, headroom's awesome uh, awesome incredible speaking of awesome pay attention listen carefully turn it up Still amazing. Sorry, 
scary, James. I, I was, I'm scared. We've been driving for, yeah, a few minutes. Enough to get like an idea of like comfort level and stuff. Why don't you uh, hop out, sir? Watch the gracefulness. 6'8". Smooth. See, the convertible life. It's essential for a big guy, headroom. The way to go. It's the way to go. I'm claustrophobic. I believe he, you're a little claustrophobic. You know, I'm more so, I have some, I have a lot of issues. But my argument stands that the Ferrari 458 might be one of the best supercars for big guys. NBA players, whatever, this is your ride. Now that we've spent some time in the Ferrari, and granted, you had the Shelby, just barely, for two full days. Also, thanks for not driving it into a wall. Respect, everyone smash the like button. For that guy, Shelby G350 or the Ferrari 458. As a big guy, which would you take? Well, let's see. The Shelby's 50 grand. This is 160 grand. If you're gonna give me one, I'm gonna take this one. I look good in black. But the Shelby's purple. Yes, the Shelby is purple. Okay, so the Shelby wins, but the Ferrari 458 is not a bad second choice. <laughs> All right, well, hop in. We gotta get you back to your wife. Also, I'm gonna give her a ride in the Ferrari because uh, she deserves it. Yep, get it. There we go. Graceful. Very graceful good. every time. To really show your appreciation to James, could you tell everyone to go link Oh, smash link. that like button. No, link below. Oh, link channel. below. That one too. Yeah, link, link below. To James. To James. Yes. All right, you got to bounce, but you haven't sat in the driver's seat. Can six eight? Can I sit? Can you do it? Well, can you? Yeah, can I? Well, I, don't I mean, you can, but can you? You go in one leg you, first. You just go in with confidence. Trust fall. All right, not make it That's weird. not bad. See, you got to have the convertible life. It's the right. only way to do it. So your tree trunk legs are. I I see potential issues. If you're hanging a hard left or a hard right. Uh, your knees are in the way. But I, I got room to steer if I tuck them up like this. Most people drive with their hands. Uh, Uncle Kenneth, yeah, he just drives with his knees. He's highly skilled at it, but uh, that's how he rolls. You do have size 15 shoes though, and can you hit the gas and the brake individually or you hit them both at the same time? I have figured out which one is the gas and which one's the brake, so I can do this separately. Okay, good, because gas is on the left, Brake is on the right on Ferraris. What? All right, let's do a scenario here. You roll up to the stadium, you got your game, game night, you roll up in your 458, you get out gracefully. Cue a graceful exit, media, everybody's watching. You don't want to embarrass yourself, end up on TMZ. Oh, beautiful. You ready for the game? Dunk Nation, this guy. Let's go. All right, well, thanks for hanging out, Ken. Later. As you can see, the Ferrari is successfully back on the Ben Pack lift. You know what they say, always return something in better condition than when you got it. The only issue here is I returned it into the same place. However, it is not in better condition because I burned fuel, I did not refill it. I burned rubber, can't replace that. And the springs, uh, we had over 500 pounds. So yeah, it's, it's, it's probably worn down a little bit, but we got it back safely. But in my defense, I got him a fridge. Capri Sun and a pink couch. Cheers. I should clarify this couch is not for James or the warehouse permanent. I just dumped it here temporarily because it's going to go somewhere else that I'm not ready to announce yet. Made it home. Man, I call that a successful day. And by the way, I look so disheveled. Because I went golfing this morning and I got beat up on the course. Beat up. Brutal. Night night Raptor. Night night Shelby. Again, I want to thank James for letting me take my aunt and uncle out in his 458. We had a blast. He legit is 6'8 and he was fairly comfortable. Anyways, I hope you guys are all doing great. Hope you're crushing it. Best of luck to all of you. Peace.